Hi, my name is Justiniano Walvis, and I am a senior software developer. This is the last video a part of the series How to Generate Glass Mapper Model with the TDS and the using T4 template code generation. So in those videos that I did before, I show you how to create a TDS project and connect with your sideboard instance and to synchronize to get all those items into your TDS project. Also, I have another video where I show you how to create a glass mapper model project. In this one, basically, I'm going to show you how you can use a Team 4 template to generate all the glass mapper models. So, here you go. We have the entity class where all the class generates is going to be. And then you do DTDS right click to open the property as you see here. You select the target project and then a code generation you put it the entity class that you just create base name spaces dictity models and also make sure you check the enable code generation so now we have to get all those t4 templates in order to generate the code so to get those t4 template we're going to go on the tds repository in sitecore.master and the code code generate template we're going to get the class v5 and the header and the v5 item and some other files that, that, that they need. Also, it's very important we open, we download the file by click on the row just because the way Visual Studio to end the line is different than the Linux. So I'm going to start each file on a DTTTS and the code and the code generation template. I'm going to do for all of them. Just keep in mind that a Visual Studio detect off the line that they are different from the standard CRL app, but only for code files. Since TTT does not behave as a search, we might have some issue, but I have installed some, temp some code editor for the template that will help us. So, as you see, I'm adding those files, I'm downloading those files one by one. This is just because I want to avoid to download the file to the zip file as, as we used to do, because that way I might get some Linux special character that this was to does not handle properly. So now you just have to add those files to the project. I'm going to select all of them and then click include to the project. So now once I add all those TT files to the project, I'm going to select them here. And then after you select, you click save, it will try to generate all those glass mapper uh, automatically. So just have to wait. So we got some error and then I think what we should do here is to open the console and then you select the team foundation, the team development for site core to see which error you have. So let's go to the team development for site core console to see those error. As you see here, we have some uh, compiling transforms error. As I mentioned before, Visual Studio doesn't handle properly the TT4 template. The end line is has some special character, so we need to clean it up and save that properly. As you see, I have a nice editor that I installed for the TT4 template. It's helpful. So now we just have to right click and regenerate those uh, glass mapper class. Uh, for this time, there is no error, but the entity is empty. So something is going on here. So I think, yeah, I think what we have to do is right click on the TDS to ensure we have, uh, uh, we have, uh, we have the proper set up correctly. So, like I say, uh, the entity class, when you try to generate, is empty. Just try one more time. Uh, but I think, uh, yeah, I think we have to look it up how we, how we set up everything on the uh, project property. Okay, it's missed the dot C sharp uh, extension on the entity class. It's going to work this time. So, okay, let's regenerate again. So let's check. Okay, now this time it works. It create all the glass mapper C-sharp class. 
I mean, like this time we just have one, which is the site templates, but um, I can see the fields here, like the description, the logo. So in, you see the site class here, which represent the site core template. Yeah, okay, it works. Yeah, so as you see, it works. You have the class and all those fields that are represent the site core site templates. Also, you can double check here is the site templates, log, description, and fields. So thank you so much for watching this video. So this is how I prepare how to generate Glass Mapper class with the TDS using T4 generation templates. Thank you so much.